Hello, hello everybody, it's Derek Freeze. It's National Sailing Fan Day, so we're going to be doing the normal thing for this, which is show ceiling fans. We start off first in the bedroom at my mom's house with two Aloha Breeze 30 inch rainbow huggers in white and a Home Trends 30 inch rainbow hugger in white. This is a triple install. It's a really, really cool install if you ask me. And one of my favorites. I love rainbow fans. But we'll get started. <coughs> and I know the light kits are all mixed matched on them. Um, I have a mushroom globe for that one. I had a mushroom globe for this one, but I still look to put on another fan. And in that one I can't fit because that's the only bulb I have that's bright enough that works. It's, it's weird. So, here's low speed. That pole chain's been replaced and it goes low to high now. It's typically run on low, medium, high, <laughs> any speed. This one typically runs on medium or low. That one's on high normally, and that one's on low, sometimes high. And typically it's just this one here that stays on high, and that one stays on low. And this one's normally off because it hums really bad. Eventually I plan on getting the glow back on this, I just have to find a shorter bulb. So has a candelabra base, I'm gonna put a normal medium base bulb in there. There's everything on low speed. Medium. The one closest to me has a bit of a motor hum. He's put off pretty decent air. Thinking if I ever get another one, I'm gonna put one right over there. But I think three's more than enough. The lighting in here is amazing. And then we'll do high. And we'll do a spin down. Let's see which one of these has the best bearings. I'm not really sure these seem to have equal runtime. That one there has ran a lot longer than both of them because before it was installed here, that fan was installed in the bedroom at my father's house pretty much until the pole chain on it broke and it got replaced with the Westminster. Looks like the one in the center is going to stop first. Then it'll probably be this one. And then the home trends. Huh, it looks pretty close. I 
both seem to stop at the same time. Someone write down below in the comment section which one stopped first, because I don't care enough to think. Well, switch this one. Well, that should be. Well, let's plug them back in. That's on medium or low. I genuinely don't care. Put this one on high. And then this one can go on low. So we're going to run these ones out for right now. As a bonus, I am running the Cool Breeze A137. And I have that little Massey clip fan by my bed, which isn't running right now. And when it gets really hot in here, I use this 18 inch Dirtcraft. Cool Breeze has been running non stop though. Here's another look at these from over here at this angle. Well, I think it's now been a week since National Ceiling Fan Day. And I'll probably be the last collector to make a National Ceiling Fan Day video. I had a lot going on the past week, so I've not been able to make a video. But we'll say the fans here in the garage are unchanged. Um, well, I don't know. I don't think there's many differences since last year. Uh, I don't know if the breezeway was there last year, but it is now. Um, I think I had the Evergo Aroma here. Right now I have a Harbor Breeze Classic Style. Um, right there is the Harbor Breeze New Orleans, which wasn't here last year. I know I had it around that time, but I had one of my Firebirds up. The Eatington and the Rocket Fan, which I believe are unchanged. And then the stuff up here should also be unchanged so we'll start by turning everything off should be on low speed and then off that was on low speed this thing is just loud for some reason. This I know is on low speed. That's controlled with a wall control. I accidentally broke one of the globes today, so I'll get that fixed. And off. So we'll let these spin down and then we'll start with the demonstration. By the way, the light kits on these fans are my primary source of light in this garage, so um, probably be on for the majority of the video. I might change some. I might actually turn the one on the breezeway on. Let's see how this one looks. There we go. Is this on? Yes, it is. It's on low speed. That should be off. And this one's been getting a lot of use, if you can't tell by the dust. This fan probably runs the most, because this is just the one that helps the moisture control here by the garage doors. The eating tin was cleaned, I think, back in April. So, it's already gotten a bit of dust on it. This one runs a lot. This is was dirty when I took it down. And I don't think I've ever actually cleaned this fan since, I, since it was installed. That one, I think, is pretty dirty, too. Since these have both spun down, we'll fire these up. Um, this one runs in reverse for heat circulation. I might put it back down the to downdraft, maybe now that it's winter. But we'll fire it up in the blade arm. That blade arm looks very pitted. This is a 52-inch Kenroy. I don't know the model name. White and polished brass. And then right here is a Heritage Furnos. I put this on the light kit on this fan for some reason. Just because I wanted to know if it would fit, which it does. It doesn't look very good, but it fits. I don't have any sort of reflector or anything on the light on this fan just because to 
to make it brighter. This has actually been my security light since the pull chain I had on here, or at least the extension broke. The pull chain still works, I just don't feel like climbing up there and using it. So here's low speed on both of these. Things got a bit of bearing noise. When I first installed this fan, it was really noisy, but it seemed to quiet it to quiet down a bit more. I did also bend the blades a little bit so it has more pitch. It moves a bit more air now. So I think I may have made a video when I did that. Got a bit of bearing noise coming from that. And then up the high. This one normally runs on high. Since I'm not in the mood for doing like demonstrations of spin downs on these, I'm not going to show that on these because I'm just not in the mood and we'll go high. This one wobbles real bad. Oh, it doesn't seem to wobble as bad in reverse as it does downdraft. This pushes a tremendous breeze. Being ran like this, it will turn this off. Go back to the other fans. That's going to stay running. Have a look at these. This is already on low. This is on low as well. Pull chain for the fan speed selection on this has started to get really stiff for some reason. Have a look at the blades on this thing, because this thing are prob probably just like really dirty, which it is. Not as bad as I thought. That fan ran a lot, I think over the whole entire winter the past year. It just sat running on low. There's low speed. And then low speed for Deanington. And low speed on the classic style, because I forgot. I don't know why this fan swings so much. The pull chain on it's so stiff when you pull it, it kind of just yanks the fan. A lot of the pull chains on some of these are like really stiff. The breezeway just got pretty stiff. I don't know why it's not focusing. There is the breezeway. Um, that one's pull chain decided to get pretty stiff. This one's pull chain has been stiff. Those two I think were fine. Go figure. Those are ones on remotes. And then the light pull chain on the Kenroy is extremely stiff. Um, I believe there's a fan inside. The one that's in my bedroom is stiff. I replaced the fan in there, which we'll see at a later date. But here's low speed on all of these. That one's a bit fast for its low speed. That's a 44 inch, by the way. We'll do medium. Press the wrong button. So there's medium. When fan didn't shift for some reason uh, when I pulled on the pull chain that time.
Here's medium. And then high. Wait, I think I only pulled it once. I don't know what that was about. These two here push a lot of air. Actually, that one does too, but the garage door opener kind of obstructs that. Oh, the fly killer's in the way, but you can see. That one there doesn't have much room for air to get sucked into it because it's in the corner. The majority of the noise right now in the room is just that fan. I should have probably did something about it. Well, it's gonna have mixed match shades on it because I only had four of that kind. Darn, this thing is loud. Oops, wrong button. Camera really likes to get out of focus today. I don't know why I'm watching these spin down. Turn. That was weird. Press it to turn off. I like this shot right here of that spinning down. Say I'm not doing spin downs yet, I'm showing the spin downs. There's that. But you can't see anything. In real life, that looks pretty cool. Let's actually turn some of these back on. So, these right here are the controls I use. They're Kitchler controls. And the light buttons glow in the dark. And turn the light back on on the eating tin. And then we'll turn it to low speed. Let that one run on low speed. That one can be off. This one can go on low speed. bearings on this one are really good and then we'll turn this one to, to medium that's speeding up shadows on the walls are just kind of cool There is the night light. I 
and then the really loud breezeway. So, thank you very much for watching, and stay tuned. So, it's officially been a month since National Ceiling Fan Day, and I'm finally deciding to get around to making the video for it. And, um... The reasoning behind that was my dad had COVID when it happened. I was sick, so I couldn't even go over here. Actually, no, he had COVID when I was when I eventually came over here like several weeks later and made the video in the garage. And finally, there's no one in the house, so we can get started. Um, there's no fan in here. Being that this room isn't used and this lift isn't used, I'm considering putting my Littleton in here. So that's a possibility. Um, right here is a light fixture, which I just put up. It's a nice vintage 1950s fixture. I had the glass jar style fixture here for a while, so I did a change out with that. And then here's the fan of my dad's room, which is really dirty. This is my Harbor Breeze Classic style uh, from, I think, 2021. This was, or 2022, but this was like right before these were discontinued. Or a few years before they were discontinued. And I'm glad I got this. This is one of my favorites in my collection. Everyone hates these. I don't. And it is very, very dusty. It's not been cleaned since it was originally installed in here. This fan was originally in my bedroom when I moved in. Um, but when I got to Westminster, I moved it into this room. Because a black fan would have looked nicer in here. So we'll fire this up on low speed. And those light bulbs work, they're just unscrewed. This one doesn't work though. So there's that. In the restroom is the Harbor Breeze Moderm. Actually, let me mess with the lighting. No, there's no fan glare or anything. But this also gets used a lot. I cleaned this one up, I think a few weeks ago, maybe a month. Actually, no, know it's more than a month because it was when I started school. I'm really tired and I have no sense of time. I got off of work, so that's my excuse for talking all jibber-jabbery. Here's the wall control. It's on Emerson Electronic Control. Here's low speed. And this fan runs non-stop, typically on low speed. And when we're done taking a shower, it gets whipped up to high speed. So there's those two. Um, there's a different fan in the bedroom. The carousel was really noisy, and I wanted to actually use this fan somewhere in the house since I found a set of blades for it. So here's my 1984 Newtone Decorator. With Newton Hacienda blades on it. And this thing's not in the best of condition. It looks pretty good on camera though. This light socket's a bit screwed up. With the Newton light kit. The pull chain is also a bit knacker. And this one's running in reverse to help with heat circulation. And that noise is not worn bearings, it's the fabric for the vents rubbing against the motor. You can see where it's kind of coming apart there. It's got all these running on low speed. Here's one of the cats. We'll do medium. Being that there's a bit more hours on that classic style, it's gotten a bit more motor noise. Oh, I wasn't even looking at the fan. I was looking at the control so I knew which button to press. And this one wobbles in reverse. And downdraft, it runs just fine. But I only really run this on medium speed. Eventually, I'll get this balanced. And the, can um, the mounting bracket and the canopy don't quite fit together. So it's only really being held in with two and a half screws. 
It's enough to where it's safe to run, but it's not original. Not to mention, I'm just gonna, like, I need to mess with, around up there with my ceiling. Up there so I can get a better way to mount fans. Here's high speed. Move some air. This one has a bit of a wobble to it as well. This one never used to wobble that bad. I would say it wobbles about the same as the new tone. This one seems to even out on high speed. It's pushing a lot of air. So I'll turn this off. Actually, I'll turn the light on. This looks quite good with the light on it, I'll say. Back down to low. That one I'm going to leave on high speed. This one will drop down to low. And then turn the fan off. Because that fan runs on low. As a bonus, the rooms that don't have ceiling fans have portables. Got a little Holmes 12 inch oscillator in here, which I'm not going to demonstrate. Hallway, we have a Lakewood 200i up here in my uncle's bedroom, which I need to come up here anyway because I left the lights on. Here's a set of Galaxy 2150s. And that's a new 2150 I just got. That's my, my last go branded one. Even the bearings on that are really good. Go down to the first floor. In this living room, we don't have a ceiling fan in here. I plan on installing one sometime with a slide kit. My, I'm thinking something polished brass, probably right here. Camera will focus. I don't want to install it in the center of the room, but off-center. Um, probably not in this corner. Either right here, or here directly in the middle of the sofa. We have a Coolmaster oscillating fan there. And then I've been using this liquid in the window. We have these three on the first floor. So, here in the dining room we have the Hampton Bay Sussex from 2008. I'll start this up on. Oh, it has the Harbor Breeze electronic wall control. So here's low speed. In the library, which doesn't even have any books in it, is the Universal 48 inch spinner. And this is on low speed. Let it speed up. In the key action, we have the uh, 36 inch view fan spinner. In antique brass. I still can't get the smudges off the center of the motor, and I don't know why. And this thing has bearing noise. So 
hard to hear because there's a really loud lamp timer that runs to Halloween its lights. So here's all of these. This one has a nice slow low speed. Um, being that it was winter, I actually had to pull a chain set to this fan on low speed and I was running low speed on the wall control. So I could get a uh, aesthetic low speed. Bit of a startup sound there when it goes up the high. Here's what it looks like with the light on. And the pull chains came from uh, Mike Urban in Florida. I have to remember which pull chains do what. This used to be my bedroom fan for a little while over at my mom's house. Um, it just looks perfect here. I, I had the little tin up, and I really like the little tin, but... This is just, I wanted a place to install this fan and there wasn't really anywhere else besides the bedroom at my mom's house. No, I didn't even put this up on the medium speed, but why am I showing you that? Here's medium. This fan typically runs on low or medium. It doesn't really see use on high. I want to put a control on this one at some point, but I don't know when. This is probably one of my favorite installs in the house. Definitely a bit more happy they got some more vintage fans installed. I think this time last year all the fans were modern. I don't even think there was a fan over there last year. This Sussex puts out a lot of air. For a modern Hampton Bay fan, I'll say it's quite good. Someday I want to try this fan somewhere else besides in here. These darn beams get in the way of the airflow on this thing. I don't like these beams at all. They're very restrictive of the airflow on this fan. Not to mention the blades on this. They kind of... Um, the blades on this fan are kind of angled upward, like a Fasco Charleston and they barely clear the beams. And it gives it a helicopter type noise too, so it sounds like an industrial. So I don't know how this fan really performs because I never actually tested it anywhere else. I'm gonna do high speed on the Universal. This has a little bit of a startup sound, like a motor whine when it goes up to high speed. This fan actually gets used on high speed probably once a month whenever I do cleaning in here. But it typically just stays on low. This fan never actually gets used on medium. This one's typically on low or even slower than low. The fan in the kitchen bumps around a little bit. Most of the time it's on medium or low. I've seen it on high a few times before I get the air stirred up in there. In the kitchen, there's not really much room for a portable fan, so having a ceiling fan in there is pretty nice. Drop that down below, turn that off. Turn this. Oh shit. There's low. I'll we'll turn this off again. And that noise that you heard from the view fan was one of the blades bonking against the beams. And this is that issue I was mentioning earlier because the blades on it are like have like a tip and they're pointed upward. They just kind of hit everything. I believe I talked about it once in another video. Pull a chair up. We'll stand on top of this and have a closer look. 
so you can kind of see, but like they barely clear. Maybe it's this side. Yeah, it's this side. It's kind of like off level. That's weird. Strange. Blades on this one actually haven't gotten dirty yet. I've not cleaned it, so that's interesting. The Sussex it runs so slow that dust doesn't really build up on its blades. The Universal's been up for a while, but most of the time it's been off. If these Halloween lights, it just kind of stays on with the light off on low speed. It might start to build up a bit of dust. The view fan should probably... Yeah, it just stopped. So, I don't know why I turned the lights off. I think I had the fan off on this before, so I'll just leave it off. I like that stencil. That stencil just looks so nice. Universal's off. And then low speed on the Sussex. And finally we'll show the basement fans. I just fixed this stupid Bible dingus today. The basement fans have to change. Actually there's a new fan down here, which is that stupid uh, heritage that claimed it was a harbor breeze. So that's here, but it can't run because this thing's in the way. That's what that noise was. And also, the blades are mounted like this because I it wouldn't clear something. And then over here is the Typhoon. It just, just stays on low speed because it has a new issue where it's humming. It works pretty good, though. This is a nice little basement fan. And it keeps the shitty-ass washing machine from smelling like mold when we're not using it. So thank you very much for watching and keep the breeze and happy, extremely, extremely late NCFD.